hi all so we have constructed our record here we can see our record data and we have also constructed a summary view so if we click on any particular record we can get all the informations related to that record now we want that directly we should be able to add a new entry in our record from our record only and we should also be able to edit the existing data of our record as well so uh, we will configure the record actions for that so let's move on to our record so this is our ys uh, tutorial record that we have created now we will move on to our record actions now here we are getting two options generate a record action which uh, apn will automatically generate a record action uh, and we can also configure manually so we will go with manual method uh, we will clip now so uh, it is also asked like what is the difference between record list action and related action so for example if we want to make any new entry in our record that will be done with the help of record list action and in the context of record if we want to edit some existing data then that will be done with the help of uh, related actions similarly now we will click on our record list actions here new action manually and here it is asking like enter a name so we are uh, we want to add a new user data so we will give a name like add user data and in the description to add new user data we will keep the icon as plus and it is uh, asking us to select a process model so we already have constructed a process model for it so we will use the same process model here as well ys so our process model ys user data okay and now click on ok uh, edit anyway okay now let's save our changes now once we have saved the change let's see like how our record is looking is our new action available here or not so we can see here a new record action has appeared try to add a new entry to it as well so we will uh, name it like so let's take any name like John Smith okay and email ID like Smith dot jones at the rate e email dot com and phone number is okay and let's give any pin code and address will just give as test address okay now if we click on submit we can see a new entry will be available in our record let's try to refresh our record as well so we can see a new entry has been created in our record as john smith now now if i want to go into the john smith and i want to edit the existing data how i can do it so to do that we have to configure a related action for that so here we can see the definition as well related action allow end users to take action in the context of record so let's click on configure new action manually so here we want to construct edit user data and to edit user data and we will configure the icon something like edit so edit is fine and here it is asking us to uh, have a process model so one process model we have already configured to add a new entry uh, we can't use the same process model uh, we will configure a new process model for to edit the record type okay uh, we will configure edit user data process model okay in description we can write the same to edit user data and we'll save the changes
okay so now our canvas has opened so here uh, we will use the our so if we want to edit some data we want the same field we don't want any new field so we will use our existing ui only so we will configure a start form okay so to remove this uh, to remove this uh, uh, notification you can just click on the message window here and it will remove it now we will configure a start form so we have only one interface here so we will use the same ys uh, user data and we will keep it parameterized fine now our user data has been set here and in the process variable as well the values has been added now if the user cancel it we don't want to make any entry so we will just use an XOR gate for that and if the user cancel it then it should go to the end node and end node we can uh, make it as a terminate process as well here it doesn't matter but fine now if the user okay there is some huh, if the user uh, doesn't click on cancel then it should make an entry into our database so we will write write to data store entity okay uh, enter user data so now we will co con connect our XOR gate let's connect our X XOR gate now so our XOR gate has now been configured and we will configure the we will set a condition here Uh, if PV bank cancel so if cancel is true then it will directly go to the end node otherwise it should go to enter user data ok so we will make an add label here as well so we will make a label as cancel is no and here we will make it yes ok so these two things are configured let's validate our changes right click and validate so we can see one two errors we are getting here for our uh, data store entity so now we will configure our data store entity to uh, data store entity let's see what uh, we have to give our data store entity constant so uh, we have already configured a constant for that we are using the same constant so if we check the back the constant it is the same constant only y is testable okay so cons bang okay and for the new input we will configure as a user data now here we will configure our user user data and here we have to write it ys test table and we'll say the value will be this and the same value will be saved as well now we will again validate it let's validate again now this process model don't have any errors now we will publish our process models okay so now our process model has been published we will go back to our record and here we will use our process model why yes uh, we have edit user data so now the context is two values are coming whatever we have used as a, a variables here both these uh, both of these variables are coming here as well so the cancel value if we check the value of cancel here it is of boolean type and user data is of type this so let's keep it null for now let's see if we keep it null then what issue arises and how to solve that issue okay let's click on ok let's save our changes now we are able to see uh, now let's refresh our record so if we refresh our record and if we go to our related actions now we can see edit user data is there let's click on the user data here you can see uh, it is 
John Smith is selected but here we are getting an empty form let's check any other record like is it same for everything so let's click on the first user here we can see the actions and we can go to related action and here okay so here as well we are not able to get the existing data so that we can edit it is asking us to make a new entry uh, a new entry so we want to get existing data and one more thing we want to configure is here only we will configure our related action so that it is easy uh, navigation so we to configure the related actions here only so that we don't have to go to related action we will go back to our views and in our views we will go to the summary view and in summary view we will select our related action so whatever the action that we have configured it used to show here so we will click on this ok and now we will save our changes as well ok and now after saving our changes we can see that so now we can see edit user data is available here only but it is not loading our existing values so we want that the edit user this uh, this uh, <coughs> related action should load the existing value so that we can uh, so that we can make any changes in that so to configure that we want to uh, we will need this record action here this is our edit user data so here only we want the user data to load the existing value how we can do that so to configure this we will configure a small expression rule to get the uh, data by id so every data here we can see is configured with the help of some uh, every data has some id so we want that it should load the same uh, uh, data by id so we will go back to our uh, uh, application we will can add a new expression rule ys get user data by id now we will click on create so we will uh, make a query entity here so that we can get the existing data by id so uh, we will configure a query entity so a bank query we will use okay a bank query entity we will use and what is our entity so entity is our data store entity so we already have put make a constant for that one data store entity and then in the second parameter is query here so query we will use query and how to configure query the query is created with the help of a bank query we will write here a bank query and we this selection aggregation and logical expression field we don't uh, want to configure them we will directly configure the filter uh, record we will directly configure the filter record here so we will configure filter a bank query filter and in our filter what is our field with the help of which we are configuring the data we are coming a bank query filter okay we have already used so field will be our actually id okay and the operator will be equal to and the value will be whatever the value that user selects so if user is selecting so here we will with the help of our rule input we will configure that id here and we will use number integer and we will refer the same rule input id here so if you if we enter any id then we should be able to uh, get that value so now we will get an error because paging info is not mentioned now so we will configure our paging info as well paging info a bank paging info and in here we will configure start index as 1 and batch size as 1 so with the help of one id we want only one data now let's see 
with the help of five it is getting the data of five uh, and it is also giving some unnecessary data start index by so we don't want them so we will use dot data so it will only give us the required data only now we will save the changes our expression rule is uh, ready so now we will go back to our record and here we will use the same expression rule rule bang ys get user data by id now here we have used one argument id with the help of id we are fetching the data same we have to use something here as well so here it is saying like id number integer is there how we can do that so to refer record we will use rv bang identifier and record so identifier uh, can be number or integer and our id uh, so with the help of that we, we can uh, refer any particular record so we will use rv bang identifier and we'll click on ok now let's save our changes now changes are saved now we will refresh our record and we'll see how does uh, it look now so if we click on test user so here we can see the edit user data and here we can see the data has now been uh, edited so now we can uh, change the name as well okay let's change the name to something andrew smith okay so now we can change the name and the same uh, and the same can be uh, written in our address as well so now if we want to make the submit so the data can be reflected okay now if you see here the data is not immediately reflected here uh, let's refresh and see like is the data now reflected or not yes now our data has been reflected as andrew smith and the address is also va but uh, but we don't want uh, the user to refresh again and again so in that case what we can do so in that case uh, a very simple solution is we will activity chain it so that all these things take one after the another okay we will chain it so we will we just need to chain it till uh, write to data store entity after that as well we will chain it but it is not uh, required now we will publish it now we, let's refresh our record and let's try to edit the data again so immediately after submitting the form we should be able to let's uh, write some pin code as well so when it, okay now let's click on submit and immediately we can see the record is reflecting the data so this is how we configured uh, our uh, record action as well and a related action as well to edit the uh, existing data so that's all in this video uh, will uh, we need to configure the user filters as well that we will see later on